38 before I could handle all six reasonably well, you know. Once you've learned that, the Lord can give you a longer leash because he knows you're not going to be stuck over here or over here, you know. Some people wonder, God, why haven't you released me into life? Well, it's because if you end up in certain places without these skills, you're going to crash and burn. And God knows that. Even, you know, if you like to talk or to think, you know, I thought of many things years ago, but these skills are essential. And uh, when you have pain, you're at level one, it affects your ability to even realize what's happening. I've had to learn, you know, connections in my brain every which way, so when I feel this, I don't shut down anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why I focus on this so much, because it's the foundation of our reality, and if it's broken, you know, everything else starts to come apart. And uh, the next time I shall be talking about, you know, the other piece to how this works is also revolutionary. But if you look at this text, when you have the, the face of a man, that's the thalamus, you know, that's the core of our identity. And the fourth is the flying eagle, level four, as I like to call it. You know, the eagle is a creative way of approaching something. Have you ever felt that when you're under stress, there's just one way of doing things? That's how you can tell that you're going to shut him down. When your creativity goes away, where you feel, I have to do it this one way to escape the situation. Just let me do it this one way. That's how you know that your brain is shutting down under stress. Your level four turns off, your creativity is gone. And then your singular cortex goes out, and you may get upset with people because you can't see where they're coming from. And if you keep going, you'll go into fear, you'll start shutting down, People who deal with these pains severely can be in mental hospitals. So, if you have this kind of pain, this can really knock you out. But, when you learn these skills, there's still hope. So, no matter what you're feeling or experiencing, there's always a solution. You know, I've, I've experienced that. You know, I, I lived with a person for six weeks who was demonized. And they probably had, you know, a hundred demons in them. And I just prayed and I said, Heavenly Father, you know, help me with this, I want to help this person. And I prayed two to three hours a day, every day for about a month until they were clear. You know, it was a very joyful experience because I felt God's love with me. It felt like in the presence of God, you know, all the devils have to run. Nothing can scare me anymore, you know. So my amygdala has been stretched so that, you know, in situations where some people would be like, oh, I better run, it's like, okay, I have faced the devil before. Get out of this person, you know. I know that with Christ in me, I'm invincible, you know. And so that's kind of like an experience I've learned just through. There were some hard knocks in my life. You know, I think God wanted me to like see, is God really trustworthy? The answer is yes, you know. And there's things that seem overwhelming that can actually be healed, you know. I haven't gotten an official degree from a university, but I've learned these things so well, you know, and I can face, you know, the amygdala, face the lion, not back down, you know, because I know who my God is, and I've learned to work on my family relationships over the course of years, you know, until I was able to work things out. And the result is that I have a peace, you know, that I would never have imagined I could have. So. Thank you guys very much. Thank you.